I'm a person who nothing ever happens to. Uh, I go and interview people, and um, it's uh, it goes nicely usually, and uh, I have a good time. They they do all right, and uh, that's it. I don't make friends with rock stars, or, or almost never. And uh, you know, I think my writing style is quite uh, plain. Uh, although it's changed over years, and it was probably less plain when I was writing for Sounds, but uh, so uh, you know, I don't. I never became a legend of the rock world. I'm just a, a steady performer, or I was a steady performer <laughs> before I retired. I wouldn't say that you weren't a legend if you went on uh, a website about the police. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. You're somewhat a legend with them because there was a drummer named Stuart. And I don't know the whole story. I'd love to hear a little bit about it. But you in you introduced him. Uh, you took him to a yeah. a gig for Last Exit, and there was a, a bass player that uh, his name was Gordon. And yeah. um, you said something to the effect of, "Hey, here's here's Gordon. What do you think about him? Can you tell me a little bit about that?" Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, that that's a, that is my claim to fame. I think. Um, is that I introduced uh, Stuart Copeland and Sting. He was already known as Sting uh, mm -hmm. by then, so I would have said, Stuart, this is Sting, <laughs> or something to that effect. And Last Exit were playing in this uh, university bar at this small college. It wasn't even Newcastle University. It was a small uh, college of education a couple of miles out of the centre of Newcastle. And uh, I'd just been to see Curved Air, uh, which uh, no doubt you know is uh, Stuart's mm -hmm. previous band. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was quite friendly with Curved Air, uh, Sonia and Stuart. And uh, I was also friendly with Sting because he was a local guy. And I was sounds man in the Northeast at the time, you know. So uh, I was boosting local bands like you do. And uh, Sting was the big star I discovered. I can't lay, lay claim to discovering any other big mm. stars. A few people who made albums, but Sting mm. was the big one. And so that was it. You know, one of those uh, completely unconscious, you might say, magic moments where you say, Stuart, Sting, Sting, Stuart. And mm. they get chatting a bit. And not over much on the night, I know, but St uh, Stuart watched him play. And what he was impressed with was his stage presence and his look. And although Sting was playing uh, jazz rock, basically, mm. all sorts, but jazz rock, um, he just saw him as a potential front man. And, of course, the music that uh, Stuart was aiming to play in emulation of punk, not I couldn't say they were really punk, but in emulation of punk, they managed to evolve into the thing that uh, pivoted around Roxanne, you know, because mm. Sting was writing real songs. Um, if um, Partly if you slowed down what the initial piece, police were playing. Anyway, mm. so we, I, we introduced them. I introduced them. And, uh, and then later, Stuart rang um, our flat, me and my wife, uh, who wasn't my wife then, but uh, we were living together back then. And... Uh, and said, have you got a phone number for Sting? And so we gave Stuart the phone number, and so it went. And uh, so hmm. that how I started the police. And wow. I don't get a penny royalty, isn't that shocking? <laughs> <laughs> but you did um, get to go on their 2007 tour, is that correct? Yeah, and then yeah. write a, write a, uh, a send-up of it, about 10,000 words, in Mojo magazine, am I correct? I did write a big piece for Mojo Magazine. Uh, yes, I wouldn't say it was a send-up, but I did write a piece for Mojo Magazine. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I went on the road. I think uh, I think that was the one where I saw them in Vancouver. Anyway, same old uh, um, three brilliantly articulate blokes. You know, they always were oh. great interviewees. And uh, they remained great interviewees, all three of them, um, as per in the past mostly talked to them uh, separately. Mm. Uh, we did have one great radio interview, actually, uh, with all three of them in, in the room. That was for Radio One here, BBC Radio. 